Hey guys, today I wanna to talk to you about training intensity, training progression, and progressive overload. These three, th these three things are how you get results in the gym. Now, if you're not using these things, you're not gonna get any results, okay? So, I've got a whiteboard that I've created, and I'm sure you guys can see it. Okay, so the first part is what we wanna talk about is training volume. Now, training volume is the sets, times the reps, times the weight. That equals training volume. This is something that needs to keep increasing over time. So it doesn't have to happen every single week, but over time, we need to keep increasing that volume because what happens is, with all of this, our body will get used to what we're doing and it can happen quite, um, quite quickly. So, you know, where, where we could be lifting, for instance, here, I've got a bit of an explanation we could be lifting three sets of 10 at 20 kilos. The volume will equal 600 kilos. Now, our body over time will get used to us lifting that 600 kilos, where then it won't be as very effective for us anymore. So we would need to look at doing something to increase that training volume. So an easy way for us to do that is go three sets of 10 at 20 kilos, the following week, we could do three sets of 11 at 20 kilos. And the difference already is the week one, volume was 600 kilos. Week two, by doing extra rep, is 660 kilos. So there's a little bit of progression in that training volume. Week three is three sets of 12, we've added another rep. That'll equal 720 kilos. Then week four comes, we go back down to three sets of 10, but we've increased the weight. So now three sets of 10 at 25 kilos, that'll equal 750 kilos. So you can see that the volume is up even though we went down in reps and it's because we lifted more weight here, okay? Three sets of 11 at 25 equals now another increase, 825. Three sets of 12 at 25 kilos equals 900 kilos. So you can see that each week we're progressing our training volume and we're just doing it in a smarter approach. We're not going too excess excessive and trying to like smash ourselves and hit complete failure. We are just doing it in a structured manner. So what you're gonna see in your training programs is that there will be rep ranges and it could be 12 to 18 reps or it could be 10 to 15 reps. It is up to you with how you want to, with how much reps that you wanna lift. Now you could do it in this type of progression here and we could go three sets over 10, then three sets of 11, then three sets of 12, and then the following week, we go back down to the bottom of the, of the um, rep range, and we go three sets of 10, but we've just increased the reps, uh, sorry, the increased the weight. That's how you can do it in the rep range. We're gonna keep climbing the rep range until we hit the top, and then we're gonna go back down to the bottom of the rep range when we're ready, and increase the weight and try and climb that ladder again. That's how we become smarter with our training. Now, as you can see how we do this, the, here are the weeks, a bit of a graph here are the weeks as the training goes on, and this is our volume. At the start, our body won't be used to how much volume that we're lifting. So we start off quite low, but we will keep progressing our training volume as the weeks come on, because our body will start to get used to it. What will happen is later on, when I'll talk about this at another time, is that we'll then have a deload week where we cut all our training volume in half and we drop down. And that week is more about recovery for you and your muscles. And if we, we can't keep continuously, just keep increasing, increasing, increasing our training volume. Because over time, an injury will happen or we can't uh, repair and recover as well as we want to, which will then start to help, it'll start to play a mindset with us as well. We're not gonna enjoy our training. The training can feel like it's heavier and we can actually go backwards. So what happens is we try and increase and then after about six to seven weeks, we then drop down and then we look at trying to increase back up and then we drop down and then we increase and it's more about smarter, um, smarter programming. Okay, so that is training volume. Now it comes down to progressive overload. Progressive overload is what I just discussed with here. Now, as we train, our body adapts. We need to progress, we need to use progressive overload to continue the progress. Now. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we need to add, find ways to add more stress onto the muscle. 
So as we keep training, we're gonna get stronger. We're gonna get better at our lifting. So it's up to us to try and find ways to try and add little progressive overload uh, spurts into our training. Now these are things like, you know, you could be doing your reverse lunge. You're doing a dumbbell reverse lunge and we start off doing that. Then as the weeks carry on and we try a new program, we then do a deficit reverse lunge. So we're having a, pl a foot on the plate now. Now with that, we're now increasing that range of motion. We're increasing the, the depth. So that becomes a little bit harder on our muscles and that's now added progressive overload. Or as you keep progressing, we now go into a deficit reverse lunge, but it's now a one and a half. You know, we're looking at increasing our training volume over time. So that's what, how progressive overload works. And then we're talking about here was the training intensity. Now with the training intensity, is it, let me call it this. Now with training intensity, you can see here we have RPE is six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now these, this is the sweet spot for our training. Now if you're not training in this rep range, in this RPE range here, your training will not be effective and you're not gonna get the results that you're after, okay? So what this means here is that how many reps are away until we complete, until we hit complete failure. Now what you would do is the RPE and how many reps remaining will always equal 10 as an easy way to remember that. So an RPE of six should mean that once you hit the rep range at the end, you should feel like you've got four reps left in reserve. An RPE of seven would mean that you would have roughly about three reps away from, from hitting failure. An RPE of eight would mean you have two reps away from failure. An RPE of nine would mean you have one rep away from failure. And an RPE of 10, which means you would be failing on the very, very last rep. Now, most of the training that you're gonna be seeing is gonna be roughly in these two ranges, in or these three ranges in here. And we're progressively going to try and increase our training intensity. Now, now that you start to understand that, and this, and this one here, you're gonna see that if we were to keep doing three sets of 10 at this weight of 20 kilos, continuously throughout the next six, to seven weeks, and it starts off quite challenging, three sets of 10 at 20 kilos, would give us that 600 kilos, and it starts off feeling like an RPE of eight. But as the weeks go on, it won't always feel like an RPE of eight, and it'll start to feel like an RPE of seven, then a six, and then potentially a five and a four and a three. And it becomes not really effective for what our goals are anymore. So we need to look at trying to increase the reps or increase the weight as we get stronger. So we need to stay within this RPE, this intensity range here. So please remember that because it's very, very important with your training that you are training in these ranges of here. So whatever I've prescribed you, I want you to make sure that you are lifting effectively in these intensities here. So I hope that gives you a bit more of an understanding of training volume, progressive overload, and training intensity because these three things are such a big key into training and getting to the results that you actually want to achieve. And if you're not lifting heavy enough, then you're not gonna get the results that you're after. So please make sure we're sitting in this rep range. Please make sure that we are using the progressive overload, which is more so for me, my programming, I'm, I've added in progressive overload. But remember that this one here as well, when I give you rep ranges, we're looking at trying to increase, or we're looking to try and increase that volume over there. But we need to make sure we're staying in these rep ranges. We can't keep increasing weight every week or increasing reps every week if, we're, if it, this is increasing and we end up getting an RP of 10 and we can't progress anymore, okay? So we need to also be smart with this one here as we keep progressing. So. I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, then just please shoot an email out to me and I'll be able to help. All right, bye.